Hi YouTube, this is Robin Axe one here, and I'm here to review Agents of the S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 2, um, Episode 13. So, in this episode, we see, um, Sky having a psych evaluation, um, by Melinda May's ex-husband. Um, and we also have a, another story going on with um, Hunter's kidnapping. And both of these lead to some very interesting um, situations that seem to point towards the larger Marvel Universe. So, here's what we have. Um, with the Sky, um, with the Sky storyline, um, Sky's psych evaluation doesn't really give us very much about her character, but we don't already know. We know that she's dedicated to S.H.I.E.L.D. We know that she will continue to be dedicated to S.H.I.E.L.D. even with her new abilities. So that's sort of already been established. We don't really get anything new with her. Um, but we do get other elements to um, the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Um, seeing Agent May have a husband brings back some of that human aspect that I think was lost, um, that I, I think was lost in translation a little bit. Um, and what I mean by that is S.H.I.E.L.D., um, is that in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 2, in Season 1, we did learn that Agent May, it's kind of the way she is because because she, you know, because she messed up in the past. Well, learning that, learning the fact that she has a husband brings back some of that human aspect. Um, to her character, which is nice because her character seems to be mostly just a fighter type and we don't really get any characterization under those layers. Um, so that was good to really know about. Um, we also have um, Sky's father um, appear in this episode, and Sky's father is has recruited all these different um, Inhumans, and is basically trying to fight against Shield in order to get his daughter back. And um, at first, I did think they were referencing. Um, Maybe an early version of the Masters of Evil. This wasn't the case. Um, these were just a couple of um, random characters. But we do get a slight reference to Black Bolt, which was quite fun. Um, well, actually, no, we get two references to Black Bolt, in a way. Um, and... I like the angle that um, Sky's father is trying to go up against S.H.I.E.L.D. Um, because what it does is it, is it illustrates some of that X-Men-esque character that you had in X-Men. And if the Inhumans are going to be this universe's X-Men, then it's quite interesting the way they've gone about it. 
because the in because in this episode you do see some of that um some of that aspect of mutant hatred it's just done through the form of inhumans so we do see a lot of hatred towards inhumans um well actually no not hatred not understanding these powers you know and and basically trying to create weapons out of um these inhumans uh sorry that argument was all over the place um so let's get to the ending now um the ending sets up two maybe major plots for the episode we see um we we get a reference to the inhuman royal family at the end of the episode um and whatever happens with this will definitely reveal a lot about the future and what i mean by that is we get a reference to again the inhuman royal family but it should be very interesting to see what the inhuman royal family will do um whether they will go to war against humanity or whether this might mean that we might see the mutants move um the inhuman sorry move away from that universe um, um, move away from Earth. We also get a reference to the real shield. And basically this is a shield, um, which was brought, this is a shield that was built, um, after Phil Coulson's regime. Now, this is going to be very, very interesting. For a, for a couple of reasons. First, does that mean we're going to have a big shield and a little shield? And and it also brings up the question: How relevant is Phil Coulson and this show going to be moving forward? Because they brought in the angle of having a real shield, and if that's the if that's the shield they're going to be using in you know for the movies, then why have Phil Coulson as the director of Shield? Why have Phil Coulson act as you know acting in this role of Shield? It seems very very weird to me and. I'm not sure I like it because this show was going in a really interesting direction and it still is to a sense it's just I don't want to feel that I'm watching a show that is completely irre irrelevant to the bigger universe being built you know I don't want to watch this show you know, in a few years' time, when I watch everything together, and feel like it's a waste of time. Um, because that's really how it feels to me. Um, I'm kind of rambling at this stage, so I'm gonna sign off. Um, I'm Rob Nats one here, and stay tuned for a Flash episode coming very soon. Bye.